I got a request for a slow version of my uh, a waltz I wrote called Boxing Day a few years ago um, for uh, someone who wanted to be able to learn it. And so here that is slowly. Uh, I'll try to remember to post the chords later because it's really nice to play with somebody with the chords behind. It doesn't make too much sense without them, but we'll, we'll do it anyway here for now. So we're in a G modal tuning. So here we go. And we're on, and those are just the, the pickup notes before you go into the tune. Let me play the tune once quite slowly so you can hear the whole thing. So it's hard when you're playing it slow to make a hammer-on sound uh, sometimes. So the A part is repeated, and um, and so let's just go over the A part. So hammer-on, hammer-on, diddy, bum, second open second string, bum, first string, diddy, diddy. Uh, so. Take your finger off, drop thumb, first and second strings, pull off on the third string, third fret, bum, diddy. So it sounds like this. Diddy, diddy, hammer on, pull off, uh, hammer on, drop thumb, pull off, first string. Notice the, when you get up to here the second time. Diddy, diddy, hammer on, drop thumb, pull off, bum, diddy, hammer on. So you don't go diddy, diddy at the end. Diddy, hammer on. Now we're ready to start again. pull off. That's a hammer on to just one, one fret down. So at the end of that, you don't go diddy diddy because you're going diddy di, diddy hammer on instead of diddy diddy. Okay, so I'm going to play this first part slowly and we'll do it together if you're at home doing it. Ready? And Go on. 
So. Eighth fret. Hammer on from the seventh fret. That's this chord. gone up we're gonna go down so that's a hammer on except that it's better to do it with your pinky so let's start again hammer on bum bum hammer on bum bum hammer on bum Bum, bum, and then just like the B A part. No, this is different. Hammer on, drop thumb, and hammer on, drop thumb. Bum. So first time you come to this note, the next time you come to that note. Third time. hammer on today. And there you go. If you look online, you can find a nice kind of a version on YouTube of Boxing Day. If you just learn, search for my name and Boxing Day, or among my YouTube videos, or whatever. It's got some images and some words that kind of explain what was going through my head with this tune. So, okay, that's it. Hope that helped. <laughs>